Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Sheriff just sent bold message to Nike on shirts every inmate is now forced to wear. For many years, sheriff departments across the nation have chosen different outfits for inmates to wear in their jails. Famously, Sheriff Joe Arpaio, who was Arizona's Maricopa County from 1993 to 2017, was considered one of the nation's toughest sheriffs. Because of overcrowding, Arpaio donned a tent city in the fenced yard of the jail. Hundreds of nonviolent offenders would spend their days and night in the sweltering Arizona heat. Towards the end of Arpaio's tenure, he began making his inmates wear new jumpsuits, and the inmates weren't happy about it. In fact, they felt humiliated. The inmates were forced to wear pink jumpsuits with MCSO on the back. Recently, a sheriff in Onion County, Arkansas, started a new program with his inmates. But this one is taking aim at a political campaign that a large corporation is running. They are extremely angry. According to Arkansas Democrat Gazette, an activist on social media alleged Wednesday that a sheriff's office in South Arkansas was forcing inmates to wear a Nike shirt and mug shots to mock the company's recent deal with former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick. Activist and columnist Sean King posted a photo of 12 inmates wearing Nike shirts on Twitter and Facebook late Wednesday and said that Union County Sheriff Ricky Roberts was putting Nike t-shirts on people they arrest and making them wear them during mug shots. Source says it is to mock Nike and Colin Kaepernick. Disgusting. In early September, Nike made a deal to feature Kaepernick on billboards, television and online ads. The former 49ers quarterback gained national attention in 2016 when he began kneeling during the national anthem in protest of the country's treatment of members of minority groups. The Arkansas Democrat Gazette reached out to the Roberts on Wednesday evening but was unable to speak with him. Calls to the sheriff's office were directed to a voicemail for the public relations officer, Chief Deputy Charles Phillips, who was also unavailable Wednesday night. About 9 p.m. Wednesday, less than an hour after King posted the allegation to social media, the Union County Sheriff's Office removed all photos of inmates from the jail's online roster. Before the photos were taken down, at least 11 of the 182 inmates were shown wearing a large, black t-shirt with Nike Athletics in boldface font above Nike's signature check mark. Though King's post features two Nike shirts, the aforementioned t-shirt and a black polo shirt with a small white Nike swoosh in the upper right-hand corner. The second shirt could be seen in mugshots as far back as July, before the September 3 announcement of the Nike Kaepernick deal. The Nike Athletics shirt began to show up in mugshots around September 15, according to the jail's roster. Onion County Sheriff Ricky Roberts hasn't answered any questions from reporters about these photos but you have to know he is in his office laughing to himself. The liberal left will take aim at Roberts as the news gets out, but he doesn't care. Roberts is a patriot that is using his small platform to rebuke a company and a movement that is anti-American. Thanks to Sheriff Roberts for taking the side of all of those who have served and are serving in the armed forces. For those who have actually sacrificed everything like the Nike ad suggests that Colin Kaepernick has done. Roberts is a hero, both the left-leaning Lieber media and conservative media would soon be making his rebuke to Nike national news. We need more sheriffs like Roberts to stand up against this movement and maybe they stop offering protection to the flag kneelers at the NFL games. I doubt the teams would even show up to the stadiums. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.